Section 21, Bureau of Ethnology. A natural consequence of all this was that when the Bureau of Ethnology was organized by Act of Congress in 1879, Powell was made its director, a post which he held with great distinction for 23 years. He entered upon these duties with the expectation of devoting the rest of his life to them, for at that time he had given up all thought of continuing his geological studies. Yet only two years later he was at the head of the geological survey, as has already been told. It is astonishing that he could, for a period of twelve years, so ably direct both these important organizations. It is natural enough that, after having resigned his place as director of the Geological Survey in 1894, he should continue until the end of his life in charge of his other and less onerous duties. If the Bureau of Ethnology did not reach the ideal development that he had contemplated and hoped, it nevertheless gained a highly respected scientific position. It was administered at no great cost, the appropriations ran from $20,000 at the outset to $50,000 in the last year of Powell's administration. The appropriation bill sometimes contained the thrifty item that not exceeding $1,000 may be used for rent of building. The object of the Bureau, as defined in its reports, was the prosecution of research by the direct employment of scholars and specialists in the Bureau itself, and by the promotion of research by collaborators elsewhere through the country. As far as the general progress of ethnology was concerned, Powell's great service here, as in geology, lay in organizing a corps of experts, in providing opportunity for their steady work under good conditions, in directing their work wisely, and in securing assurance of fitting publication for their results. In the opinion of an experienced Washington official, Powell worked little less than a revolution in educating Congress to bring the trained scientific expert into government research. Twenty-three large volumes of annual reports of the Bureau, issued under Powell's direction, mark an epoch in American ethnology. But besides organizing this important Bureau, Powell took a leading part in its work. He gave much thought for many years, as well as all the time that he could spare, to problems connected with the life and customs of the American Indian. His favorite subjects for essays and addresses were chosen from topics of the same nature and from the philosophical problems to which they led. End of section 21